What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a great small-sided game that you can do with your team called 3 vs. 3 Lane. It's a dribble-drive small-sided game that I would use with my team as a progression to the dribble-drive offense. And it's really, really simple. We would start with an offensive player out here with the basketball. We would have an offensive player in the corner, and we would have an offensive player in the low block or the dunker spot. So those would be our three offensive players on the floor. I'm just going to put them as 01, 03, and our 05, or sometimes in the dribble drive they call this the uh, four player, but I'll put this as our 05 player. So this is what the setup looks like for the offense. So it's sort of like a half shell of our dribble drive offense. We're not going to have our two other players on the floor, although you could progress this to put the corner player on the floor and go four versus four, and you could even do five versus five. But for the sake of it, we're going to keep it small-sided. We're going to do our three versus three version of this game. Now, before we do this, we obviously will rep with our team sort of the lane drive and the options out of it. When this player drives the lane, this player is in the dunker spot. They could hit their layup. They could lay off to this player. They could hit this corner player, depending on the help, the help of defense. We're not going to get into that right now. But the other option they could also happen out of this is they could get stopped in this area, which would prompt this player to work up. They could either cut back door if they overplayed, or they too could come around which would cause this player to relocate. We'd get into our dribble drive offense. So <clears throat> it doesn't. you don't have to be a dribble drive team to run this. These are just the options that we would have out of the dribble drive offense. You obviously could just run this as an SSG, get downhill, and have your options out of it. So we're going to have our players under here. I'll make this our 05 player, 01, 03. Okay, so now... Our defender is going to start back here, D1, and they're going to be on the back hip of this player. If you even them out, it would be more of a neutral start, but we want to give the offensive player a little bit of an advantage. We're going to have our D3 here in the gap, as most teams probably would do with them defending the corner player, and we're going to have our D5 over here in the paint, also as a help defender. <clears throat> when we go live, this player, this offensive player, is going to have the ball on the hip of this defensive player. So they're going to hold the ball there with a small advantage. When they pull the ball off their hip, they're going to get downhill. Obviously, the first option would be for them to get downhill, beat this defender, get to the basket, and score. If this defender slides over to help as they're driving, it's a layoff, and it could be a layup. If this player comes down and they, they we teach them to sort of stunt and recover, but if this defender decides they need to get into the paint and they need to help because they're beaten so bad, it could be a kick out for a three-pointer. We usually like to give, you know, maybe five seconds or ten seconds for them to play out of this. So that is one option that we could have. Now, obviously, our offensive player could potentially, depending on the advantage and the defender, you have a really quick defender here, they could get downhill, this defender could get here and beat them to the spot. Shouldn't happen with the small advantage, it could, or if you start neutral, again, you can start this in different ways with your team, then it would tell this player, okay, I have to make a decision. If this defender starts to come up hard and overplay, they could cut back door, which would probably prompt this defender and we would get what we would call a tee up in the dribble drive offense from this five player they would shuffle into the middle or they could also come around here and they could get a kick up and they could then drive downhill our one player off of that would replace to the corner so we would have our 01 replace to the corner We'd have our 0-3 getting downhill against our 
D3. They obviously, if the three comes underneath, they could pull up and shoot that, or they could get downhill. And then we would tell our offensive player to relocate because that's consistent with what we would do in the dribble drive. So that's the three verse three version. I'll just show you very quickly. If you wanted to go four verse four, you could certainly, again, have the same setup. We would have our O3, our D3, O5, D5. And then we could have on this side of the floor, we could have our O2 player and we would have our D2 player. And, and the reason we would incorporate or add this in would be when we get down into the paint and this defender helps, this defender, you should, in a good team, help the helper and take away this paint, which then would allow our player, and they might have to slide up a little and find the open window, our offensive player to skip to that weak side for a three-pointer. So you could progress this to a four-versus-four four version. If you're not a dribble drive team, it's a three-versus-three three with a small advantage. We call this quick draw, three-versus-three. Three. I'm calling it 3v3 lane in the dribble drive offense. This is our lane drive. Now, you could tweak this and you could move the players into different spots, but this is a great small-sided game that you could use with your team. Again, we teach the basic drives first on air. We do it with some guided defense, and then we're going to progress to our small-sided game. And we would go to typical scoring here. We would say, you know, for example, what do we want to emphasize? A lot of times we would say if we get a – Back door cut, we would actually we actually would give a back door cut. We would say it's gonna be worth double points. So if we got a back door cut from this O3 player on this D3, D3 reacts up, we hit them on the back door with our O1 bouncing it in there, then we could say that that's worth double points. You obviously can get a back door cut on the other side. Um, you could emphasize really anything that you want to in these SSGs. You could make it more defensive minded and you could give points for uh, additional bonus points for defense. Or in this case, we're focused on dribble drive. So we give the points for offense. Three verse three lane was one of our progressions in our dribble drive offense. It's something that if you run this offense, you're going to want to do with your team. But even if you don't, it's that quick draw three versus three SSG. It's going to create a small advantage. It's going to get this 0-1 player against the D1 into the paint and allow them to make decisions. The emphasis on an SSG like this is something that we all need to be working on. And that is decision making. You're going to love this SSG. I hope you work on it with your team. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, like that video, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns.